This morning, the resurrection of the Western Flyer. The Flyer is a famous boat used by author John Steinbeck in the 1940s to explore the Gulf of California, just after he wrote The Grapes of Wrath. The trip Steinbeck took with his friend, biologist Ed Ricketts, has inspired adventurers and scientists for generations. But the Western Flyer fell on hard times and was almost lost until someone became determined to give it new life. Watching the Western Flyer set sail out of Monterey Bay, you'd never know that 11 years ago, she was sitting at the bottom of the waters off Washington State. The question is, why would someone bother to save a seemingly worthless 86-year-old fishing boat? Because I thought I could fix it and bring it back to life again. And I uh, didn't see another scenario where uh, it was going to survive. To John Gregg, the Western Flyer is not just a boat. It's an idea. In 1940, it was the vessel John Steinbeck and his friend, the biologist Ed Ricketts, used to set sail for the Gulf of California, where they collected and cataloged hundreds of sea creatures and discovered dozens of new ones. Their trip resulted in the book Sea of Cortez, a life-changing work for John Gregg. Why did it affect you so deeply? I think because I didn't know before that that you could have a life where you could be a scientist and still be out doing things that seemed adventury and, and fun. After its famous voyage, the Western Flyer was used off and on as a fishing boat for nearly 70 years before it sprang leaks and sank twice. That's when Gregg using part of the fortune he earned as a businessman, stepped in to save it. At a dry dock in Port Townsend, Washington, over the course of eight years, the Western Flyer was slowly transformed from abandoned ghost ship into a fully functioning blend of history and modern technology, a $7 million project led by Chris Chase. What percent of this boat has been replaced? That's a common question. So from my feet down or your feet down, it's about 95% new. And that's opposite from my feet up. So all of this original house, teak, teak doors, this is the part of the boat that they ate, they drank, they told their stories. This cabinet actually, I don't know if you can grab it here. We wow. left this as it was found. These are like the oh little gosh. calcium deposits from the barnacles. Wow. Just Everything was covered in barnacles. We ended up with a boat that's almost completely original inside, which is spectacular. Uh, amazing. Yeah. And this is, these are the sleeping quarters. Right? Yep, moving through the galley, you move up here. These beds they, don't seem large. They are Can six like... feet, six feet two. Yeah, give it, give it a, give it a sleep. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, I can sort of. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but if you're in a seaway, you want to lock yourself in, yeah, I right? Guess. Rock yeah. and roll, and you want to be comfy, but they are <laughs> definitely tight. Chase took us through the ship to see how old meets new. We're running at uh, 520 RPM, so revolutions per minute. Fully electric. Fully electric, 100%. We're pushing 300,000 pounds through the water, doing four knots. Wow. At 75% battery power for another seven hours. And it's so quiet. It's quiet. It's very quiet. It's very much like sailing almost. You know, yeah. we're all just kind of wrapping our heads around how amazing it is. It is amazing. Uh, there you go. Get a little electric drive noise, not too wow. bad. Below deck, the room that houses the boat's hybrid engine system cost $1.6 million just by itself. Still waiting to be finished, the onboard lab to be used in this area known as the Serengeti of the Sea. The Monterey Canyon is nearly as deep as the Grand Canyon on land, and its rich underwater walls teem with wildlife. Biologist Rebecca Mosto is the ship's education manager. Did you know the story of the Western Flyer? Yeah, <laughs> there's whales directly behind you. <laughs> Just whales. Sorry, Just huge... I'll try to ignore the whales. No, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did know the story of the flyer. I actually lived in Port Townsend in 2014, 2015. And so I saw the flyer when it was at the boatyard there. And so my friends took me over and were like, hey, did you know this is Ricketts, Ed Ricketts' boat? And I couldn't believe it because it looked like such a terrible ghost ship. 
this is it's, it's just such an abundant area. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the greatest classroom I can imagine, right? This incredibly productive bay filled with sardines and krill and anchovies and humpbacks and yeah, it's inspiring to say the least. Steinbeck and Ricketts legacy lives on in Monterey. The renowned aquarium Ricketts work inspired is a tourist attraction and his original lab still stands on the city's famed Cannery Row. <laughs> now 83 years after the journey that made it famous, the Western Flyer has returned. Whoa, that one just, oh, did you see that? <laughs> He'll come up one more time probably. For John Gregg, it's simply a way to pay it forward. Another experiment in inspiration. No, that was intense. It was just like staying up there. I hope that it did for other people what it did for me, which is, you know, be an entry into a, a beautiful environment like this where you can go out and, and do things that matter and gather information that might help people. And, and uh, it's a good platform for doing that. You're a low key guy, but you dream big. I think everything good starts out as, a, as someone's dream, and, and the best things are when multiple people have the same dream. Mm -hmm. So John Gregg has now gifted that boat to the Western Flyer Foundation, mm, so nice. it can be used for educational purposes moving forward, which is pretty cool. And I have to say, this the Monterey Canyon is one of my favorite places on Earth That's because it's so, you know, so you go, beautiful. you guys, you, you, people have gone out on whale watches before, right? And you just hope to see one whale. I know. We're looking at dozens and dozens of whales out there. And like, you're not almost, even there to see them. Uh -oh. You're there to talk about the Western Flyer. But I, I was the looking at the whales the too. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's a very special place. It looks like it. I love that they kept some of the seaworthy warnness yeah. of the boat. It's. It seems like there was so much effort that went into all this. And to that point, I, I love that uh, there was so much that they refurbished, but yes. also maintained the legacy. They kept it. The legacy. They did. Great job, Jeff.